Hello from Boston. This is Zach Hample at Fenway Park for some postseason baseball action. Game three of the American League Division Series, Red Sox versus the Tampa Bay Rays. And as you can see, I am outside the stadium behind the Green Monster. Give you a little shot behind me so you can see there is a lot of competition out here. Lots of other guys trying to catch baseballs. I'm actually spending the entire game outside. I've done it before. Did a couple videos outside last year. And for today, hoping for some batting practice action, extra hoping for some action during the game, catching a postseason game home run would be magical. I will be here tomorrow for game four, and tomorrow I have tickets inside. So two days, two games, one outside, one inside, should be lots of fun. Chris up there. Yo, can you stay up there for a bit? Huh? Can you stay up there for a bit? Where are you going? Get a job. Oh, come on. This just happened. <gasps> right here. Sorry to the car owner that I couldn't get here in time to catch it. Um, why they don't put netting up here or why anybody would want to park here is beyond me. But in any case, I'm on the board, so I feel good for me and bad for the person who owns this car. Yikes. I appreciate it. Well, there was not as much action as I hoped for Red Sox batting practice, and they're done, and the gates are about to open. So as a result, most of the people that were hanging out here on the garage have left. They all have tickets to go inside, and they figure, why stay here when they can be in there? And I don't blame them. There is definitely more action to be had on the inside, but it is fun for me to come out here every once in a while and just do the parking garage thing. So the Rays should start hitting soon, unfortunately, a lot of their hitters are left-handed, so that'll mean less action for me out here than seeing a team with lots of righties. But it is what it is, hoping for at least another baseball or two to fly out this way, and then, like I said earlier, gonna turn my attention to the game. Right here, there it is. Woo, number two on the day. Holy moly. It was just underneath the back of the car all the way over. Oh, sure. I know, we both, we both whiffed on that one. I think that one was hit by Randy or Rosarina. Some kid on the top of the monster told me that's who was hitting a few minutes ago when a ball, I think, landed on the roof up to the left. So, wow, that was fun. Great grab 
wants in a red explorer. <laughs> guys telling me to protect his car. I'm like, I'll do my best. Oh, 409. 409? 409. 409. Thank you. All right. So, all right, that's it for batting practice. They're done. Uh, just letting my fellow ball hawk out here know. Um, I got two baseballs, which is okay. Wish there had been more action. And just a moment ago, there was an employee up above looking down at this smashed windshield. And he asked me if I could read the number on the little tag hanging from the mirror. So I shouted it back up to him, 409. So I don't know if this is, I don't know what it is, some official vehicle or if the Red Sox then reimburse the car owner. I'm sure there's a whole process, but yeah, that's it. It's um, about an hour and 20 minutes until game time and they're done hitting. So I'm going to eat my buffalo chicken wrap and kill some time and we'll see what happens during the game. You wanna see something cool? Look at this. Yeah. Hey, camera person, you want a bite? No, I hate buffalo chicken. Great, more for me. Batting six, the designated hitter, number 28, J.D. Martinez. So right now, we are going to the top of the second inning. Rays are on top two to one. All the runs have scored, thanks to home runs, hit by lefties. Austin Meadows went yard in the top of the first, and then Kyle Schwarber hit a leadoff shot for the Sox. So that's frustrating. Can we get some righty home runs out here, please? Randy or Rosarena? As I was saying, is leading off the top of the second, and Mike Zunino is due up third, so. Here come the big boppers. There is lots of potential today, but so far lots of disappointment. There are some good righties, but they just haven't done anything. And so top of the fifth now, Red Sox are up three to two. Time is running out, but as always, I'm still hopeful. <laughs> Kike Hernandez did it. He launched a homer over the monster and completely outside of Fenway Park, but it landed in the street and some random lady walking by scooped it up. So good for her, but damn. Now the middle innings flew by after that as dusk turned to nighttime. That did make it easier for me to see the baseballs, one of which was a Wander Franco homer in the top of the eighth. Unfortunately, that one did not leave the building and there was a whole lot of nothing after that. There was lots of standing around and waiting for the right-handed batters and lots of sitting around and waiting for the lefties. The game was tied and remained that way for a very, very long time until the 13th inning to be specific. That's when Christian Vasquez hit a solo homer over the monster to walk this thing off. Now, once again, that baseball did not reach me out on the garage, so I was pretty bummed about that, but just about everyone else here in Boston was hyped. The final score tonight was five to four, and this was a huge win for the Red Sox. They now lead this series two games to one with game four here tomorrow, which, as I mentioned, I'll be attending. And then if necessary, game five in Tampa. 
So you can see where I am right now, out here on Lansdowne Street, pretty much right where that Kike Hernandez home run landed. Um, I got two baseballs tonight, and that does count, so that brings my lifetime total to 11,649. Uh, this game went more than five hours, so unfortunately, I think that might mess up batting practice for tomorrow. It's still actually not that late, it's before 10 p.m., but I think the players might want to rest. Now, one more thing. Evidently, there was some insane play involving the umps and like a ground rule double that bounced off the right fielder, I think. I couldn't see it. I haven't seen any of the replays, but you know, it was, it was a pretty cool game. I'm sorry I didn't get to see any of it, but again, I just love the opportunity to be outside and try to catch homers. So that's it. Thank you for watching this. Thank you to Rachel standing right over there for filming most of the action tonight. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the game four video inside the stadium tomorrow. I'm not answering my phone because Xander Bogarts is up and I didn't get the ball. Leave me alone, people. Shut up.